Devil's Punch Bowl in Olympic National Park, Washington is a popular local swimming and cliff jumping spot with crystal clear teal water. The easiest way to get to Devil's Punch Bowl is by taking the Spruce Railroad Trail, which is an easy paved trail that traces along the northern shoreline of Lake Crescent. This hike is only 2.4 miles long with an elevation gain of right around 144 feet. This trail is a popular one though, so if you want to ensure that you get a parking spot, you might want to get there early. With this being a fairly easy trail, you may be tempted to bring your four-legged friend with you, and they are welcome, but please be sure to keep them on a leash at all times. Not only is this trail beautiful, but it has a fairly interesting history to it as well. The Spruce Railroad was actually built to haul spruce timber to help build World War I aircraft. Unfortunately for the people building it, by the time they finished it in 1919, the war had ended. So since it was no longer needed, it was turned into one of the most iconic and accessible sections of the 134 mile long Olympic Discovery Trail as a paved ADA trail. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for cyclists along the hike as we encountered quite a few and on some of the downhill sections they can pick up a pretty good amount of speed. As the trail meanders its way along the shoreline, you're going to get small glimpses here and there of Lake Crescent. The good thing is that it seems like the further that you hike in, the bigger the gaps between the trees get and you get more views of this picture perfect lake. Fun fact about Lake Crescent, with a depth of 624 feet, it is the second deepest lake in all of Washington. It is a distant second though, because with a depth of 1486 feet, Lake Chelan more than doubles the depth. Even though it is only in second place, it is still estimated to contain, I hope you're ready for this, 550,558,573,714 gallons of water. We are now approaching the 1.2 mile mark of the hike and this is where you will find yourself at the train tunnel. Here you will have a decision to make because the trail does continue on for quite a while. But if you're going to go to Devil's Punch Bolt, you need to make a left here. And don't worry, if you're sad that you don't get to go through the tunnel, we will go through it on the way back. We are now leaving the safety and comfort of the paved trail behind and heading out on something that's quite a bit more narrow, uneven, and unfortunately not ADA approved. There are some steep sections coming up ahead, so I have to give that general disclaimer when it comes to hiking. Shoes with good traction are going to make things a lot easier for you. Even with our La Sportivas, I think I slipped a couple of times going down this hill. And here we are at the famous Devil's Punch Bowl. Unfortunately, we did not pack swimsuits or towels, so we would not be partaking in the cliff jumping as much as I wanted to. But the people that were jumping off the bridge said that the water was freezing and it wasn't really a warm day, so I don't think we were missing out on much. From here, you can either turn and head back or you can continue across the bridge and on the trail on the other side. And that's exactly what we did because you know we have to go through the tunnel. Continuing on also gives you a couple more beautiful panoramic views of the lake. As we continued on down the trail, we swore that we heard bells. And we actually did because it was a pretty hardcore mountain biker coming through. And speaking of bells, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you hit that bell for us? We would really appreciate it. You're going to be making a right back onto the paved trail and this is where you get to go through that tunnel. It's about 75 yards long and there is a curve in the middle so you're definitely going to want to bring a flashlight because it gets pretty dark in there. This trail is considered to be a lollipop loop and once you get out of the tunnel you're going to be heading back on the same trail that you hiked out on. It is said that this trail takes an average of 50 minutes to complete, but this isn't one that you're going to want to rush. You're really going to want to soak in the scenery. So I'm not surprised that this took us double that to complete it. It took us two hours. 
we were absolutely blown away by the beauty of Washington's nature. You'll be happy to know that we have a ton more Washington content coming up in the near future, so stay tuned for that. The whole point of our Washington trip was something not quite as peaceful and serene. We actually went out there to go wing walking. If you haven't seen that video yet, click in the upper corner right now because that was one heck of an experience. And that is going to do it for our video about our hike on the Spruce Railroad to the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's a super easy hike with a really nice payoff. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like I said earlier, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell because we have a ton of awesome stuff on the way. And for all the information about this hike as well as other awesome adventures in Washington, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.